Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Fortnite. So, uh, like the first episode, I uh, have a little bit of complications. So this is a very multiplayer game, obviously, or at least it's intended to be so, but my friends don't exactly have the time to play Fortnite like I do. So, in the uh, interest of actually putting out episodes and having fun with this, and, you know, just playing this series uh, to the extent that I'd like to bring it to, uh, this is going to be kind of one of those, like, hybrid solo, non-solo series, kind of like how EDF is going. Uh, so I'm going to be doing occasional episodes like this that are going to be, uh, long or hella long. We'll see. I mean, if you guys want longer solo episodes, I can do that too. Or if you want shorter ones. Um, but effectively, uh, I've got a huge backlog of solo content or, like, occasional content with John Bain or, like, whatever YouTubers I can pick up to play with. Uh, and so I'm just going to put those out as kind of like sub-episodes. I don't even know if they're going to be like mainline numbered or what. Uh, again, you guys can let me know what you want for this. Uh, but so these episodes will be coming out occasionally uh, as filler content while I wait for Bird and Keith and Shell to be available again for our more, I guess, structured playthrough-ish. So I guess with that, I hope you guys enjoy. Who? let's face it may no longer be with us. I've marked his last known location on the minimap. Let's check it out and hope for the best. Okay, so it looks like weapons are actually agnostic to your class. Uh, there might be benefits, but uh, it looks like you can actually be... If I wanted to be, I could be a ninja with a shotgun. I could be a outlander with a... Uh, with a sword. I'm not entirely sure if there's reasons why you would or wouldn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so it it starts at uh, these prices, but then it'll go up to, uh, well, it'll be free to play once it finally comes out, whenever that actually is. Okay, so we're supposed to travel to a lab, but mainly we're just going to be exploring for a second. I'm going to mess with my settings, because the audio is a little bit low. Because I turned it down. Set it like 40%. That should be better, because yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything at all. Yeah, this is a bit better. Okay. And, yeah, like I said before, my friends will be joining me. I'm just the first one to actually, like, uh, get the game and get through the tutorial as far as it, I can. Um, let's see. They said 2018, but the head start runs out in four days then. Yeah. So, uh, the game will probably go free to play sometime in, uh... The game will probably go free to play sometime in, uh, 2018. I'd say probably mid-2018. Uh, yeah, I might actually play as my ninja or something. The constructor, I don't like his dirty pants. As like silly and like petty as that sounds. How did I? Oh, this is how I make uh, weapons. Cool. Well, can I make a shotgun? I guess we could make the founder's pistol. Can I? Well, let's start with the crusader. Oh, I I just have it. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I have to I have to have the slot open. That's a that's a bit odd, but it works. Okay, so if I put equip there, yep. And is there a way to switch to my third weapon from here? That's a bit of a weird design oversight. Kinda hope they fix that. Okay, well let's just replace it with the uh the better one. I'm gonna keep the older stuff. What is this thing? Oh. Temporarily increased movement speed. Okay. Don't be like that. Thunder's pistol seems pretty decent. Not high damage. I bet I can uh, bip it off a little bit faster. So what is what is specifically being marked there? I have no idea. I also have no idea if uh, if blue goo is at all useful. Oh, it looks like Proto has found some friends. Let's see, do we want to do want to try the shotgun? Can this I try the shotgun? Not inspire confidence. Let's see what's inside. Oh, hi. Monsters coming. Is that it? Nope. There's more. Are you good, lady? I Okay, so this is just like a complete random event. Well, that's... that's fine. 
Take this. It would be neat if there was like a, uh, oh, hi, they're like right on me. I should probably uh, load up a melee weapon instead of just wasting all of my ammo here. Well, we'll do it after this. Oh, or did I, did I pick up some ammo there? Oh, Jesus, that's a dude's face? I don't think I quite proper, uh, uh oh, hi. Wait, you can give guns to friends? Holy crap, that's going to help. So that means uh, blueprint sharing is a thing. Oh, I'm going to be grinding this with fans. Okay, uh, so where's my, where's my melee weapon? Melee weapon, okay, uh. I guess let's toss the uh, sword on there. Okay, cool. So, oh right, talk to the survivor. And we get a little like reward, reward box thing filled with random junk. I'm sure there's reasons why uh, why you do or don't want to do those. Well, no, I, I'm assuming they're all they're all useful. Oh wait, it said search. I can search something. Ah, huh. oh, you do get ammo. Twelve medium bullets. It almost feels like it's probably, maybe not worth it. Probably is. Now does this do the uh, Conan thing where you can hit multiple stuff at the same time with one tool? Probably. Okay, the blue stuff is used for objectives and boosting both commander stats temporarily and uh, in the game. The constructor can use the blue glow for defenses. Good to know. So deadly. So good. So I get a ceiling zapper and then just a bunch of random junk. Well, this is cool. So am I just free to uh, free to explore and do whatever I want as long as possible? Okay, save metal for my home base. Yeah, I figured I figured that'd be the case. Can I raid this place? Oh yeah. Looks like it's fairly easy to just kind of raid these places. Ammo shells and slugs. Oh jeez. For the amount that I use, though, th that's like pennies on the dollar. We're definitely going to need more than that. Well, that's okay. Yeah, why is everything so rubbery? That's a neat aesthetic. I like it, actually. I like it how I almost destroyed the thing. Then I remember to loot it. I wonder if I get... I assume you don't get uh, contained items. Otherwise, so... Oh, jeez. Can I drive this car? This car looks like it would be... Uh... Awful. <laughs> oh, cool. I can just I can just hold this. Uh, I can just hold this down. So how much? That's getting me a fair bit of metal. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to look into how home base construction is going to work. But I don't know exactly how or what. Mark the fragment location. Okay. I don't know. Since resources carry over between missions, you can actually farm the missions for a while, then leave the mission and come back to refarm. Good to know. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see like what weird meta strategies we'll come up with over over the course of this playthrough. Actually, I wanna see if I can uh I wanna see if I can I just yeah, I can't coolly my man my way into this house. I'm sorry probably deceased suburban family, but your idealistic home has, uh, has, has now been entered. And honestly, it's not just, it's just never gonna be the same. I'm sorry, I, t I took off your front, front wall, your front door. That's a retro-ass little, uh, television. Oh, sweet, they have a basement. Yeah, so it looks like you gotta loot it before you destroy it. Wait, can I just can I just dig down? What happens if I destroy the floor? Oh, interesting. If you uh, get far enough in the skill tree, you actually get like a a usable dirt bike. Why is their basement kind of awful? Like this is like hella dingy. I don't think I'd want to live there. Like. What is even going on in this house? There's a map with like crayons or whatnot, but it's on like pure concrete flooring. 
Like this is like hella dystopic basement. Did they did they just like keep grandpa down here? They just kept I'm searching the toilet for bacon. <laughs> oh god. I just got toilet bacon. That is oh um um I I Grandpa What the hell is not okay Huh It's actually a pretty sweet room. I'm gonna check that this child's bed for duct tape. Child knows how to live. Or new. I don't know, probably dead now. I was gonna be real upset if there's more bacon in there. Or other stuff. Anyway, let's level the house. Now is there a way I can I assume there's a way that I can upgrade the pickaxe eventually, so I just churn through things. It'd be great if you could uh get like a chainsaw and it's just like, well, everything is dead now. Where's Proto at? I don't know, he's just running around somewhere else. I get rid of this. I I wanna see what the threshold is for this house, uh I want to see what the threshold is for this house falling in on itself, because it doesn't look like uh, we're actually timed. Bacon is for the defenders of my home base. So I'm going to give one of my poor unknowing defenders to toilet bacon. Let's see. Watch out, physics supply. If you break too much, it'll come crumbling down. That is the goal. Oh, good night. I should probably go around the outside or something, but yes, I, I want to destroy this house. I want to see what happens. Because how many houses do you get to level in uh, real life? Physics will be his death. Dude, if I, if I die, if my first death in this game is because I dropped a building on my head, I think that's okay. Admittedly, I, I do wish uh, the pickaxe had AoE mining. It doesn't seem to have it. It, like, hits everything else, but it doesn't actually, like, AoE mine. Also, at this point, this house would have fallen in. Let's be honest here. Well, I made it, uh... I made your house, uh, random suburban non-existent family. I made your house into one of those, uh... Oh, what are they called? You know those houses with the, like, the big glass windows, you walk into it and you're not entirely sure if it's open air or not? What's the couch got in it? Bullets! These people are weird. Okay, AoE mining might be an upgrade later. That'd be good. I'd also be, like, fine if they're, like, pickaxes or something that you can find. Um, this house is not going down. At this point, I'm not entirely sure how much physics applies. I'm sure maybe if I take off every wall... Okay, no, we want to leave the staircase there. I want to see if we can have the, uh, the floating upper level. Like, to what extent does physics apply to these buildings? Because this is questionable. This is ultra questionable physics. Find the support column. I guess there's one, like, right there, and there's also kind of like a gable thing. Oh, hey, Proto. Thanks for the help. This will go faster. Now, if I can kill Bird by destroying the, uh... If I can do, if I can kill Bird by destroying a house on top of him. Now that, that will be, that's the goal here. That is, that is like the, huh. Wow. This staircase does, does work. Well. Ha! 
Huh. Um. It's nice. It's a nice gate thing. I'm gonna destroy this. Okay. So do, what do we do next? I guess we should probably go work on the actual objective. I was expecting it would fall down, but no. It just exited the universe and that was just the end of it. Uh, so we've got to go over here to some kind of building. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping the whole thing would come crashing down and kill me or something. That was a nice storm. Holy crap, that visual effect. Not milk for speed. <laughs> this guy has such a weird trot as he moves. Okay, so I assume that's the building I gotta go into. Okay. You can wait. You can get high end components if you wait to do the objective. I'm curious about the, uh, let's get out of this. I'm curious about the whole, oh. Oh, these missions cannot be redone. Okay. So, according to Proto, uh, there are chests littered all over the map that we need to find. Because apparently these missions cannot be redone, and there's, like, uh, cool stuff that we can find somewhere. Okay, I'll have to look at, uh, I'll have to look into that then. Uh, gotta find them, unfortunately. So, I guess, I guess it's time to PUBG it up, and we're going to, uh, we're just going to Kool-Aid man our way through a bunch of houses looking for treasure chests. Well, I mean, I did say I wanted to waste time here, and I guess, uh, since, since these missions can't be redone anyway, uh, I should make the most of it. Oh, hello. That's a interesting looking crate thing. I think... That was probably, maybe it? No, that was just some wall spikes. I think uh, somebody else has been here. Just a hunch. There's not much, much left of this place. That is a wacky ass vehicle. I like the cartoony style. What was that noise? I don't know. Huh. So when I mash E at something, it, it beepity boops in my face. Oh, team score gained day one. Okay. I'm a little bit perturbed. Okay, so that's that's because we survived the night, though. It's not like there were exactly a whole lot of enemies there to, uh... to harm us or slow us down. I guess there were a couple that we killed. Okay, well, let's go see if we can get some more toilet bacon. Or, pile of bricks? Let's see, just water heater filled with steel. Some kind of weird power box. Watch this game be like hella, hella, uh, successful, and they do one of those things where, uh, the sequel actually has, like, a plot, as opposed to just being kind of a, a team, like a co-op grindathon. That'd be weird. You can technically quit out of this mission early, keep everything you looted, and restart the mission and do it again. I'm not entirely sure if that's worth it. It probably is, but I'm not, I'm still not entirely convinced. From my perspective, I, I, the idea of, per, oh, we just found chair bacon. Gross. What's the toilet got for us? More toilet bacon. What is it with this society? I really, I actually want to have, like, Fortnite 2 come out at some point, and it just has, like, a uh, lore for everything, even if it makes no sense whatsoever. Like, toilet bacon. Somebody did that intentionally. Very intentionally. 
I can't imagine a developer did not... Did not, like, put that in with a giggle. It just seems completely nonsensical to me. Uh, let's see. So, have we not found a single random chest? I guess we got a dude. Let's try out this sword. Seeing as the sword does not require ammo. Spooky! Did I? Oh, I see. Ah, part of the job. Yep. So, wonder. Ooh, what's this thing? Oh. Probably complete random. Probably complete garbage. Wait, what? Are we in the sky? We're in the sky. Huh. Was not expecting that, actually. That's odd. Um. Wait, can I. Can I mine these? Looks like it's just made out of bricks. Which is very confusing to me. Okay. What happens if I break the whole thing? Just more bricks? Oh, no. I got a crafting item, a quart quartz crystal. Okay, so that's... That's something else. So yeah, we we get... Uh, you get, like, base resources and then... Um, then something rarer. Uh, once you complete the whole stack. Okay. Um, hitting this is maybe going to be a bit of a pain. Probably worth it. So I think I'm just gonna go around the, uh... I think I'm just gonna go around the outside hitting stuff. And, uh... That should work. Slowly. There we go. I think I might I might try out the ninja for the next uh, round. Oh, I got the uh, map reveal badge. I probably I mean I I don't deserve it. It was probably Proto just running around doing whatever. Oh, I see that person icon is for exploration. That makes sense to me. Oh, outlanders get double resources from everything. Oh, that might be um I might run a outlander then for um. For like grinding, then, because that seems like that would make a lot of sense. Like, uh, whenever I'm just playing on my own and grinding missions for loot and stuff, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just have an outlander for even more. Really like the visual style for this. I'm, I'm glad that they didn't go with something, like, more realistic or whatever. That'd be unfortunate. I do hope they, uh, they... I can somehow get, like, a better pickaxe, though. Because, boy, does, uh... Does the mining speed kinda drag on. What do we got on these, like, outskirts? It seems like there's goodies out here. There kind of are. Well, that was a whole bunch of bacon. Probably, I mean, it's probably not worth me doing all of this. But I, I can't, I can't tell. Oh, we've got some kind of weird crazy shack here. Okay, so let's... You monster. What? Was that me? Well, I thought this was like an actual crazy shack, but no. Okay, his pick is faster. Okay, so there are pickaxes that do... do go faster. That's interesting that you can build base building parts wherever. I like that. I don't know what you do with it, but I like it. What do you get? What do you get? Nope, trash wood. Oh, one of the first parts. Uh, I just need a. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Well. Oh, you can take falling damage. Well, I guess this will confirm whether or not the players heal over time. Doesn't look like it. So it looks like once you take a once you take a hit, you are uh you are injured forever. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really change too much. We have like a little bit of blue glow up there. But that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to find one of these treasure chests so it can like validate uh so it can validate like the running around here and just wasting time. I guess we've got like a bunch of these like cool tins filled with bacon. I keep expecting okay. something. Let's let's be realistic here. Oh, energy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I searched this. Energy has to be full to regen. Oh, so I just have to walk around slowly then. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's a perk I get. Cause yeah, my my energy was full for quite some time there, and it was it still wasn't coming coming back. Oh, with the right perk in class, well, that's kind of a different story then. Okay. Oh, this is the pistol. Let's just use this. You are not welcome here. A whole bunch of these guys all over the place. <laughs> not so fast. Uh, ah! Oh, that's satisfying. Can't wait until I can use that against whole whole groups of enemies. I see. So the the music gets like suitably more dire as it uh, probably gets later on in the night. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, they're one of these like weird tin things. I'm still not sure if it's worth like regrinding these missions for rare rare resources though. I'm sure I I don't know, I think I might just want to progress. So let's um let's just go up and let's get this done. Cuz yeah, I know I can never come back, but I just am not finding enough to really justify being out here. So let's let's just do some missions and uh, see if we can go ahead. I mean, my main goal is to get uh, far enough in that my friends can just join me, which I think we've done. I'm a little bit on the tired side today. Woke up way too early to play uh, play uh, to go watch Spider Man, which was a great movie, but also way too early. Oh hey, I gotta check this out. There's a uh, storm shelter. Ah, you can go down in here. What's it with these people in these like really creepy basements? My basement was cool. Oh, what was that? Do nicely. A ceiling gas trap. Okay, that arguably was probably worth looking into. So traps are consumable resources. They're not something that you make. Oh, I thought it would be something that I'd like uh m maybe unlock or whatever. I I guess not. Okay, well this is this is definitely the place. Okay, you can craft them. And this inspires even less confidence. Let's take a look around. Uh, okay, Don't so leave yet. There has to be something worth finding here. Wait a second. I may not know a lot about interior decorating, but that's a weird place for a stack of crates. Try smashing those crates. A little bit outdated on that information. Nice job! Let's explore! You know this it looks game... looks like it was abandoned. This game's geometry has... research lab! Finally! Paul, huh. this is vendor tech equipment. What's it doing here? Check out that computer. This game has, uh, Psychonauts. Geometry, which I kind of like. 
Where like nothing is a perfect square or circle or whatever, it's Whoa, all like loopy and dumb. Interesting. In the lead up to the storm, Fendertech Labs began developing experimental weapons. Normally I'd find that kind of thing disturbing, but these days, I'm all about it. It looks like this lab was working on something called an atmospheric laser. I've downloaded the schematic. Let's test it out. Okay, to start, we'll need some blue glow to power the weapon. There should be some in this lab. Then, I've got a hunch we'll want to stock up on bullets. There are two ways to craft bullets. You can open your inventory and select the bullets you want to craft. Or you can hold reload on your current weapon to auto-craft the bullets you need. Let's craft some bullets. Okay, those are light bullets. Good. I was worried that that wasn't, uh, that was not going to count. We're all set. I've marked the target on your map. I guess I might as well make some ammo here. Unfortunately, it looks like it cost me, uh, steel and wood to make bullets. I guess it's not so bad. Of course, I'm going to be just sprogging bullets for ages. Oh, well. Oh, I see. There's like, um... Oh, the chests. I see. So, um, over on the right side, uh, we've got those three medallions and whatnot. And so by, um, by doing various tasks, we get a, uh, we get the medallion, which probably levels up our various gear and equipment. Okay, that's cool. Why do bullets require wood? Freaking... This game is made out of... Uh, nonsense science. You place the atlas on the target, add blue glow, and wait. Sounds simple. I guess I'll just keep loot pinyading bullets for a little while. I guess I should probably go chop down some trees to compensate, though. Because I'm probably going to need a decent amount of lumber. And I am burning through it rather quick. Well, yeah, so I'll, I'll most definitely um, do uh, just resource gathering runs with the... Uh, I'll most definitely do resource gathering runs with the um, the Outlander as we go through this. Yeah, so let's get back up to like 400 wood. I guess I do have stone that I can use for crafting. I don't know, I just want to... I just want to be uh, over... over equipped. I like being over equipped for things because that means I don't have to like redo stuff. Generally. Though honestly, I should probably do this once I've completed a couple of missions and gotten skill points. Just so um just so I can mine through things faster. I really like the the wiggly model effect. They did that so freaking well. I don't know. I I just adore the uh, cartoonishness of it. I don't know if it'll get old ever. Probably will. Insert blue glow. I assume I should probably start crafting first. Now, okay, so it doesn't look like I can directly armor this thing, so we're going to have to armor around the outside. Well, we'll just do stone, I guess. This is cool. I like the, uh, the wiggly, like, blueprint thing that I'm just carrying around here. Okay. And let's quickly confirm a door up in here. Oh, this is so much easier. Okay. Yep, and door closes my face. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure where the enemies are coming in from. Um. Nope. Oops. Well, I guess what we could do is what F3. Oh. 
Proto's making like a half high wall. I'm not fully convinced. Actually, we should probably. How do you switch uh, materials again? Oh, material. Right click. Okay, steel. We want to just use wood. What are you doing? My fort. All of my walls. Do I not get my my stone back if a if a player is like superseding my my strategy? That's unfortunate. Why would you do any of this, dude? What is the point of any of this? I was gonna make like a box. And then we were gonna build out the defenses. This is confusing. I wanna make a fort, not like... a popsicle stand location. Well, I guess I might as well go, um... start taking down some of these walls. Get a little bit of my stone back. Because apparently... Uh, you don't get it back if another player uh, undoes your work. I guess that's fair, but it's kind of unfortunate. I heard you can't build a closed building around objectives. Uh, if you've got a door, you should be able to build a, a closed building around objectives. Oh, it just modified the shape. I didn't realize you could do that. That's cool. Okay, I understand now. I'm mildly petulant because I am sleepy. I woke up from like a two hour nap and it was effectively like, well, I guess it's stream time. I am not awake for this. Oh, yeah. Gotta loot everything because apparently people hold like gun stuff in these places. Okay. So, so, oh, that's, that's neat. I'm going to go feed the, uh, I'm going to go feed the thing the blue glow so we can see where they're coming from. That's enough blue glow. Way to go. Adding blue glow lets us know the direction the storm will be coming from. Prepare for an attack from the west. Build some basic reinforcements to protect the atlas. This storm will be stronger than what we saw at home base. Now build defenses around the Atlas and activate it when you're ready. I have no idea how they're going to be approaching bonus me. Bonus challenge is now available. Oh, bonus challenge. Don't overbuild. Oh. Okay, well, we should probably, uh, we should probably do that. I don't have much for wall traps. I do have some floor traps that I can work with, though. Okay, so traps don't count. Can I... I don't think I can take these back up, but that's okay. Can I craft... Okay, so I can craft these traps. Um... It says 10. I'm not sure what this whole 10 power thing is. Oh, crafting, I see. So I can craft them over here, it just requires some... Some rare resources, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Well. Build completely around the atlas inside the projected grid. Don't forget to place traps. Well, that's fine. Okay, um... I'm just gonna probably go around the outside if... We have to worry about these. Okay, so that's the last of my traps. Uh, can I build more? Or alternatively, we do. 
I thought we... Okay, I guess we do have wall darts. I guess I'll equip the, uh, the crappy wall spikes. I'm not even going to be using them that much. Okay. But I guess we can probably activate the Atlas at this point. And just fight them off with guns. I can't imagine my traps are going to be that necessary this early on. Activating in five seconds. Okay. Here come and I got the this. And there goes the core temperature. Uh oh. Uh, no need to worry. Yet. Creepers! Yeah, I'm not too worried about the, uh... I'm not too worried about the early missions being, um, uh, being too hard. Might turn down the sound effects, though. The, uh, the gun, the gunfire is definitely a little bit on the latter side. You guys might not notice it, but I'm not a big fan of, um, I'm just not a big fan of, uh, gunfire. I find it loud and obnoxious. I'd rather listen to music as opposed to kablam, kablam, kablam forever. That's okay. I wonder if the uh, what other moves the constructor gets. I assume I don't get like auto turrets. I, su I assume that's some kind of actual craftable trap that I'll have to learn to use. But I oh, I did kill him. Awesome. Should probably get out of there, but I don't know. So this game's like Orcs Must Die. Yeah, kinda. It definitely has that, like, uh, Orcs Must Die, like, build trap. Uh... Build trap, like, expand, uh, base. Fight off hordes of monsters situation. Let's see. You know, in retrospect, it would have been cool if I would actually put a couple of traps straight through here. Well, that works. Might try sniping after this. I like the shotgun, but the drop off might be a little bit harsh. It's probably more helpful uh, later on. That's okay. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any uh, functional floor traps. I guess I can craft one. Well. All right. Should probably hold off until we're uh, we're a bit free here. I do like the fact that reloading is fairly quick. As a nice, uh, nice thing. Okay. Nope. Oh right. One is not gun. It's not so bad. I'm trying to quick. Uh, Ow. Where'd you come from? I'm trying to quick put down a floor trap. There we go. And it's uh, messing me up a little bit. But there we go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have to grab some rare resources so we can have an easier time of this. That's better. Okay, so that'll, that'll take it off. I'm, I'm going to just keep messing around here for a bit. Can I put some balls down on this? Seeing as we know the direct path they're coming through. Why not, uh... Husk why not actually use some, some traps here? Even if we really don't need to. It does look like some of them are uh, taking an alternate way around. Probably because we were crafting, maybe? Maybe not, I don't know. If we're lucky, they won't, uh, they'll just keep taking the path of least resistance and run through my, like, little kill box. Gotta say, that trap is satisfying. And it looks like they're all just kind of coming through here. 
Which is more or less what we want. We... Now, does that inherently do damage? Or... Or is it more of a uh, damage only on impact thing? It's not that it really matters. Yeah, that shotgun drop off. Like, you really want to be directly next to the enemies. You know, the only thing that I don't like about this game is there's no uh, ragdoll physics. The enemies have very, uh, very short death animations. Which could be a little bit better. Because, like, uh... I, I want, like, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know how many of you guys have played... What am I thinking? Okay, Killing Floor 2? No turning back now. Killing Floor 2 had a really satisfying, uh... Uh, like, corpse system where there were just tons of them lying all over the place sometimes. Uh, EDF kind of does. Dark Souls always had really, really satisfying death. Or maybe not death physics, but the corpses after the fact. Whoa! It just blasted a hole in the clouds! Score one for reckless amateur science! But we've got to stock up on these beautiful sky lasers. All right, so team score was good. Commander EXP. So a bunch of EXP boost, daily bonus. That's a bunch. I assume, actually, you know, that's probably kind of helpful. Okay, so those bonus objectives are actually worth a lot. The chest will open on the play screen. That's weird, but that's okay. All right, uh... So I can thumbs up other people. Good for them. Okay, so we wanna open this up. So we get EXP. So that's hero EXP. So we, heroes don't get an EXP normally. Okay, that's interesting. We're fighting and then we back. also get the only complete. thing we need now is even the slightest understanding of what's going on. So sniper rifle, medium Luckily, bullets, and the I skill have point. someone on hold who might be able to help. Full disclosure, he might be insane, but there's only one way to find out. Okay, so skill tree tier one two three four. Oh, and then there's research that's a separate thing entirely okay well first off we get harvesting tool level good okay so things break faster if I target weak points okay what's next increase range and melee weapon damage by 1% per point oh but it also unlocks our survivor squads fire team alpha and EMT squad I'm not entirely sure what that does Okay, so assign this survivor to a squad to increase squad power and gain fortitude, offense, resistance, or tech. Assign him to a squad where the lead survivor is analytical to gain more power. Interesting. Not sure what that's going to do. And lastly, I think I still have one skill point left. Unlocks the research page. Purchase bonuses with research points earned gradually over time. How many skill points do I have? Okay. Now I'm out of skill points. So we also get one offense, some fortitude, and research. I apparently got quite a lot. Okay, so we get uh, research points. 54 per hour. Okay, so that's going to have to be something that I look into later. Okay, so we, we got a schematic for a new gun, I believe. A couple of new things. So, I think Proto had chucked one of these guns at me. Oh, yeah. 
This copper automatic shotgun does more damage. That's nice. Yeah, so I think friends can give each other guns and get a little bonuses for it. Okay. Well, uh, let's do squads, seeing as we just unlocked this. Survivor squad. EMP squad, job match. Leader. Epic and Dr. Dreamer Engineer. Okay, job match. Person personality match? Sure. Select. And then squad will be... How do we... How do we match? So this is... Okay, personality match. So this gives a melee damage bonus, melee damage bonus, trap durability bonus, ability damage bonuses. Well, I should probably check based on uh, personality match, just because I assume that gives a... Uh, if it has a matching bonus, it gives some kind of extra effect, ish. Okay, so we have EMT worker slot, and we get some survivor EXP. I hear you EXP. all are in need of a storm analyst. Well, you're in luck. I saw that light show you put on back there, by the way. Righteous pyro. But I'm gonna do you one better. Is that so? Come see for yourself. <laughs> 